In this video, we're going treasure hunting for Hot Wheels. An expert is coming to point out the top 12 things that you can look for in Hot Wheels that could help you make thousands of dollars in your business. Let's dive right in. So I'm in the shed right now, diving in, trying to get everything brought over. I don't want him to go through stuff in the cold, so we're going to bring it over to the big barn. And uh, apparently that box fell over. So hopefully those are okay. He knows his stuff. He's going to separate things into bins from lowest to highest value. And we'll certainly point out the best stuff. Well, here's all the Hot Wheels. We've got fully packed boxes. And I believe basically all of them are treasure hunts, super treasure hunts, or collectible, like higher quality Hot Wheels from Hobby Shop Ron. So what do you think What do you think we're going to get for all these? I don't know. I think last time we got around a thousand bucks for a similar load, probably a little bit smaller than this one. So I'm hoping maybe a little bit more than that, but it really depends on what's inside. So we'll take a deep dive into treasure hunt and super treasure hunt Hot Wheels right now. So Josh dove in right away, separating the Hot Wheels based off of value. And we are going to focus on the ones 25 and above in this video. 10, these are all treasure hunts so far, pretty much. Okay, so you're just like low end treasure hunts, five to 10 bucks. Yeah, five to 10 bucks. Okay. And then these are mid, mid grade, regular treasure hunts. Some, some of these actually have the real rider tires. See in the early 2000s, and when they started making them, the regular treasure hunts had real rider tires. Yeah, show me an example of so that. So this is a regular treasure hunt. Here, I'll take it out. That's of with case. like the rubber tires? Yes, yeah, it's the rubber tires. Some of them have tread, some of them don't. This one has, it has tread on the tire. Okay. So that, Man, but it's, like, it's not a super, it's a regular? No, before 2006, I believe, they weren't called super treasure hunts. They were just... Okay. A real a plastic tire version and a rubber tire version okay. of the regular treasure hunt. So piggybacking off of that, the last time you went through our other Hot Wheels, it's after 2006, if they have the real rubber tires and their treasure hunts, then they're super treasure hunts. Then they're super treasure hunts, yes. Which is even more rare, usually more valuable? They're usually more valuable. Okay. So look for the real rubber tires on Hot Wheels, and you kind of kind of look close. Yeah. You go through a whole case of them at Walmart, and if you find... One of those. There's only one in the case if there's if they're in there. And okay. what you want to look for right away is the paint. Okay. The paint is gonna pop out. It's either gonna, it's gonna be a Spectre Flame, really okay. nice paint. So that's probably what you're gonna see Interesting. first. Okay, so you get an eye for it after a while. Yeah. Okay. So you found an error here. As you can see in the picture, <laughs> it's supposed to have the tampos on the side here. And this yeah. one doesn't have the tampos on the side. Now, I'm not sure if it was a common for that year for this one to be an error. But okay. usually if it's missing something. So the picture is always going to match up with the car. If yeah. it doesn't, it's, yeah. it's it was not intended. Yeah, it okay. was not intended, obviously. And you could see where a little yeah, bit of the tampo missing. was on there, but it, the whole ah, rest yeah. of it's missing. And that's brand new, so it's not like it was it's not open, rubbed off or, you not know, something. With, nothing. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, this is the bin I like a little bit more, 25 to 50. This is 25 to 50, some of your rare them, and then this is a short card treasure hunt. Now, short cards okay. are were made for international because they want to have more room in their shops, so they make the shorter huh. cards so they can hang these in a smaller area. Okay, and, and Hot Wheels, I assume, sold by far the most in the United States. Well, it... I don't know. Okay. I'm I'm not gonna say I'm an expert. Not on for knowing sure, that, but at least but finding that here is is, is a spectacle. It's, but these are happen. rare here in America because they were made for overseas. They have the mm -hmm. international card, which and they'll have all the different languages. They always have like the symbol here, okay. which is whatever it's uh, supposed to be for overseas. And okay. It has all like three different languages. Gotcha. Okay, that's good to know. So. On average, if you find the ones with the shorter cards, it's probably something to, to at least look up. Yeah, it's the the treasure hunts and shorter cards are usually worth a little bit more. Okay, good to know. Not not always a lot, but just a little bit. Yeah, something to separate to know. That's good. And we're still waiting to fill our fifty plus or maybe even a hundred plus bin. And then this these down here, we're doing uh, under five dollars. And then, you know, five to ten. So these are the ones that he won't really yeah, pay much at all like, for and shouldn't pay much at all for. These would be like five bucks. But as you can see, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but that has water damage. Oh, yeah. Which. 
you know you'll so, sell that and get it returned if you sell it without noting that it has all that damage on the mm -hmm. bottom of the card so e even though that is a rubber tire car mm, okay that really affects the value yeah card condition is the value yeah, I mean, okay. you keep a box of cereal that's collectible, it's going to be worth more. Well, it's a, a than box you NES game, like, <laughs> yeah, like this NES. Mega Man 5, for example, is in terrible condition. The box is beat up, and I think we have been trying to sell it for like three or 400 bucks. It doesn't have the manual, and we cannot sell it. But if that box was in better condition, we could probably sell it for like five to 600 bucks, so... That, that is apparently true across all collectible categories. Condition is everything. Just about everything. So that makes sense. I've gone through about half the collection now. Of course, the low band is filled up a little. Uh-huh. we got some more in 5 to 10, like some retro entertainment, Ghostbusters. Oh, that's cool. I'd pay 5 to 10 for that. <laughs> It'd be worth a little bit more if it was a different, different one. Okay. So some from the series are good. Yeah. And there's a 10 to 25 super. That's a super treasure hunt. Gosh, how would you even know? Just the tires? You see it has a gold symbol behind it. Oh. But look at the paint. I mean, to, you so the notice, paint just pops. So this is a red car. Ah. This is a red super treasure hunt. Are they kind of like more chromey? It's a pearl. It's more of a pearl effect paint. Okay. It's called Spectra Flame. Okay. So it would, it's way higher quality paint job. I see. And then, of course, it has the real rider tires. Yeah, that is nice. Okay, right on, 10 to 25. And then we got some more Supers in the 25 to 50 bin. These are like 30. That's like 30 bucks. It's a Ferrari. Now, the funny thing mm -hmm. is I have one in here in the 10 to 25 bin. Mm -hmm. That's the same car, same series. But this is for our rig. Ferrari red. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got more value. A little bit better, yeah. And then, of course, a couple of, you know, the infamous Toyota Supra from Fast and the Furious. Mm hmm. And 30 bucks a piece. It's probably high demand cars right there. And we finally added some. We to made the, some in the 50 plus. The Acura NSX Super Treasure Hunt. Okay. It's about 75 bucks. Nice. And then. The 83 Chevy Silverado now. Square body trucks, they're all the thing. No matter what, I guess, they're valuable. And this one's a super treasure hunt. It's 175 uh, bucks. 175 bucks. 175 Let's bucks. Let's go. I had a heart attack would, when I pulled it. <laughs> would you have bought it from Hobby Shop Around for $4? Uh, <laughs> back then, it was only a dollar on the pegs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> True. <laughs> Dang. Very nice. And then the Zamax. Um, Zamax are Walmart exclusive. They're okay, pretty much Zamax. just metal. They're bare metal with a clear coat and tampo over top of it. Okay. They're only sold at Walmart. They only come in Walmart cases. Mm -hmm. They're a Walmart exclusive thing. And these are all Zamax. I mean, they range from 4 to 10, depending on what casting it is. Now, would you sell these... As a lot or individual? What's your strategy? I would sell them individually okay. because I'm looking for that person that wants this one car to complete their collection. Okay. And then they're more likely to come back and buy 20 more cars because they're looking for individual cars mm -hmm. to complete series or sets or years in their collections. I found so you can see that, that it truly oh, is an yeah. error. Yeah, yeah keep those together because that's cool to see it like that yeah i like that so yeah genuinely an error um to, piggybacking off of what you just said about you know you're selling them individually but your hope is to attract somebody to your store to it's buy multiple. multiple quantities how often does that happen for you it happens pretty often people yeah. buy two but i charge shipping on everything mm -hmm. because you know it's 50 cents a box mm -hmm. Bubble wrap, packing materials. I put a thank you card in every single one of my packages. Yeah. And, you know, so I charge shipping for everything. I have, Most of my stuff goes out first class, so it's mm -hmm. not expensive. It's cheap. Yeah. And, you know, people buy multiples. And then, you know, if the shipping goes over a certain, if it's way over what it costs for shipping, 
I'll reimburse him. Yeah, yeah, that's yes. good. that's cool. Yeah, so if they buy a bunch, you're taking care of them. And it makes sense for that to be your goal. So you're shipping like every Hot Wheels in a box. You're making sure that it shows up. So when a customer gets it, they're like, all right, I'm going to come back right. because this was a good experience. I got shipping with tracking, fast shipping, bubble wrapped in a box, even if it was a $5 car. Yeah. It is extra work, but in my opinion, it separates your business to kind of be the like Hot Wheels store for the diehard Hot Wheels collector. They know they're going to get quality. As a collector myself, I, I look at it like this. How do I want that thing to get to me? Yeah. If I'm purchasing a $5 car or a $500 car, mm -hmm. I want them to get to me the same exact way. Yeah. So That's a good way to look at it. How, how would, What would I be happy with if I were receiving this item? It's a good standard to set. Yeah. So, yeah, I like it. Thanks for the tips. Hopefully we find more $175 cars and fill this bin up some more. Looks like Josh is done. So yeah. walk, walk us through what you found, what, you, what you're thinking. So these are like five, ten, maybe. Okay, nice little stack. Nice little stack. There's some treasure hunts, some you know, Silverado, Dread Main Line. Decent stuff. You'll probably sell it individually and yeah. make a little bit, but not too much. This is ten to twenty-five. There's some supers and some rarer. You know, like the Skyline, of course. I've told you that that before. Mm -hmm. It's really collectible. Looking for the Skylines. And Ferraris. Makes you know, sense. Hot Wheels don't have the license no more, so. Oh, okay. Those are more valuable mm -hmm. okay and then i found some more errors as you can see i found Dang. the regular one and the tampos are not missing the one of the layers the black layer is missing oh. so what if you're selling an error like that which I, you collect a lot of them but if you were selling it you know what what would you do well, you just put it on there as an error sometimes you put it up as auction but i don't tend to like auctions because yeah. then you got to have it on at the right time the right mm -hmm. viewers all that right but you just put it up there and a little bit above or you know a couple of uh, what the regular one is going for okay. sometimes i like to put like the regular one and the error together yeah so they can That's clearly smart. see when in doubt moon it out <laughs> That's <laughs> what we to the moon Price it to the moon, put best offers on. That's what that's what we do There's for stuff. There's some more but... errors, so you can see that the side oh, tampos yeah. are completely missing. Huh. And that's then, crazy. This one is the, oh, supposed to have some Summit Racing on the together. side. Yeah. Huh. And then, so that's this crazy. one is some supers and stuff. It's okay, 25 to 50, so this is nice stuff here. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, we've got Super Treasure Hunts. Okay. These are all yeah. rubber tires, mostly. Okay, yep. And then this is like a, a car culture car, but it's a Mazda JDM RX-7, and they don't make this style card or this series anymore, so, you know, it's going to be more cool. valuable. Yeah. It's like 35 bucks. Okay. And then I found one more to go in this bin, the 1967 Summit Camaro Super Treasure Hunt. Nice. Which... I have to say, that's going in my personal collection. Nice. I'm a Camaro freak. Yeah. That's super cool. What would and that one be? That's one of my ones I've been looking for, so. Okay. Perfect. It's about 70, 70 to 75 bucks right there. Nice. Not bad. And then all of these over here are cheapies? Or yeah, like under five. Under Might five. Be a little bit over five, depending. Okay. There's a lot, some of them are the card can do. A lot of these, I got a lot of these. They're all treasure hunts. Yeah. I mean,. There's four. There's probably twenty five. <laughs> Dang. But you know, yeah. three to five dollars, mm -hmm. depending on what kind of treasure hunt it is. Yeah, at least it's like one listing with a bunch of quantity. Then you know, like muscle cars. Yep. Stuff like that. And the standard stuff. Some of the stuff will go in my booth at the yard sales and toy shows and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yep. I'll be starting to do toy shows and stuff this year. All right then. Okay, so we're gonna have to come up with a with a price for him to buy all of these, and hopefully we can both win on the deal. All right, we agreed to a price nine hundred bucks for that collection. You paid a thousand for the last one, and there was actually more in the last one. Yeah, there was more. There was probably like a few totes more actually. Yeah. So basically, what we did in negotiating was the top uh, two bins. He kind of paid about half. Of, yeah. of what they're going for, of what he'll net, which I think is very, very fair. And then the ones that were like $10 or below just kind of made a bulk, like $300 for the rest of them type of type of offer, which 
it's totally reasonable because you might make thousand to fifteen hundred, but it's gonna take a lot of work, yeah, a lot of time. Fifty dollar, fifty cents for boxes and bubble yes. wrap, and I yeah, know. I mean, I I totally get it. So you should be making a lot more on that stuff per unit. It's just gonna take time and work, and then hopefully. You can make your 900 back on the top like three bins, yeah. get it back within a month. I mean, that's how I like to do deals, and I want you to still buy my Hot Wheels <laughs> in the future, so I want you to do well. But he, he mentioned and asked for more, which we've had these other bins of cars, and they're not Hot Wheels. They're a little bit bigger. I don't even really know what they are, but I think they're interesting, and we're going to go look at those and see if he wants any of those. That's a Camaro uh -huh. or Firebird. And they would just have that sitting on their desk and when the new model came in, the company the manufacturer would send that. They would just have that sitting on their desk. Okay. So when somebody came in and bought one, they'd be like, Look at all the new features, you uh -huh. know, it has So yeah, like on average those will probably have they might some be value. some twenty some of them go for twenty five, thirty. Sometimes it depends on which one go can go for like fifty bucks. Yeah. But you on the average they're probably like fifteen to twenty. Hey. That adds up. Yeah, adds up. Let's go over to this bin, see if you if you want to pull this one down. This is what I'm talking I don't know what scale that is, but these are Auto World. Now these are gonna be your more higher end cars because yeah. they're more detailed. Auto World, Johnny Lightning, they're the same company. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I remember... round two is owns Auto World, Johnny Lightning, and oh, all okay. that. So yeah. So I put those in the list on eBay bin so that I was telling you, it probably means that we looked up one or two of them yeah. and saw that it had value and would be worth listing. So should find some decent stuff in there. I got a feeling one of these top two might be some cars as well. So we'll pull those down. All right, we did find some cool things. So certainly the best of it yeah, was the, what, what are these? These are uh, dealership promo cars. Dealership promo yeah. cars. It's crazy that they're they're all like, you know, at least 50 bucks. Some some on the high range, maybe 75, but these are like the paper plastic, towel, the light plastic. Doesn't do it no justice to paper towel, but it's... Right. And look, it was, at Paul's Crafts, it was $20. It was $20 there. It looks like 1976. 1976, my glory. That was so a lot they, of money back then. That was a lot. These have been desirable for a very they're long time. They're made by Johan Models in Detroit, from Detroit, Michigan. So they're, these go. are the ones that are highly sought after. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. The ones with the make on them are good. So we worked out a deal. He's getting that Shirley Muldowney autographed for the personal collection. And we're just doing 500 bucks. Most of this stuff over here is low end, kind of junk. And some of these cars ended up not matching the box. So we just got to kind of consider those lower end but some of them were matching the box and the first response ones ended up being pretty good so we worked out a deal 500 bucks there so all in you're spending 1400 bucks 1400 today bucks, yeah. not bad and hopefully you can make at least 1400 i hope you can make 2000 or more and come back and see me in a couple months oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> so it's a win-win he's rocking the games 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 hit the like button for the games games game shirt and for josh and let me just be clear the last time Josh made a deal on Hot Wheels, he was very generous. Some of them ended up being worth a little bit more than projected. Some ended up being worth a little bit less. In the end, it all balances out. And he spent hours going through these. He did last time as well. He operates with integrity, and that's why I am selling to him. I'm very, very confident about that. So we're going to conclude it right there. Peace.